Hello, welcome to the video on ZTNA LDAP authentication with 40 Authenticator and 40 Token Cloud MFA. For the setup, we have a user on the left using a device attempting to connect to ZTNA access proxy. The authentication is redirected to 40 Authenticator, which gets his user database from the Active Directory. Once the user passes the first factor authentication, the second authentication is handled by the 40 token cloud and sends a push message to the 40 client mobile, which the user approves the authentication. The authentication process then is complete. The user now can access the application as defined in the ZTNA policy. The rule of the 40 authenticator is to abstract the authentication from the network devices and centralize the application service, identity providers, and system records for the authentication process to the end users. By adding on 40 Token Cloud, another layer of protection is added to the application and the network by providing the multi-factor authentication. Here we have multiple 40 gates using as ZTNA access proxies, and 40 Authenticator centralizes of the authentication as well as providing the multi-factor authentication with 40 Token Cloud. Let's take a look at how to set up the 40 Token Cloud for the multi-factor authentication. Access support.49.com, register the 40 Authenticator, as well as your 40 Token account. To confirm the registration, click on Products, My Assets. Here you should be able to see 40 Authenticator being on the list. To view the 40 Token Cloud subscription, click on Account Services, click on the serial number, here, you're able to see the 40 Token Cloud subscription. To access the 40 Token Cloud portal, click on Services and 40 Token Cloud. In the 40 Token Cloud portal, you're able to see the users being protected by the second factor authentication. Let's take a look at the 40 Authenticator configuration on adding the 40 Token Cloud service. In 40 Authenticator 6.3, 40 Token Cloud is on by default. You can check the status on the dashboard. To add multi-factor authentication to an LDAP user, click on Remote Users, LDAP. Click on the user name. Turn on token-based authentication, 40 token, cloud, activation delivery method, email. Make sure the email is filled out properly. Click OK. Next, we'll transition over to Subjeet, who will take you through the 40 gate configuration as well as the end user experience demo at the end. Thanks, Kai. Hello, everyone. Now I will walk you through the 40 gate configuration and the GTNA access demo with two factor authentication. The very first step is to configure 40 Authenticator as the FSSO agent to pull remote user groups defined on the Active Directory server. Once 40 gate has received the group information from 40 Authenticator, we can use these groups to define new user groups on the 40 gate. Later, we can use these groups in the ZTNA proxy policies to authenticate remote users. Now, let's get started with the demo. As seen in the 40 client console, this device is managed by the EMS server. And looking at the user profile, the device has received an appropriate ZTNA tag from the EMS server required to access resources belonging to IT department. Now let's try to access a resource in the data center protected by the FortiGate acting as an access proxy. FortiGate will first authenticate the device based on the unique certificate issued to the endpoint by EMS and later prompt user for credentials. Since multi-factor authentication is enabled on the 40 authenticator, 40 token cloud will send a push notification to the registered device and upon approval, the user will be granted access to the requested resource. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.